This year our school has continued on tackling climate change and we've done this by doing a lot of projects in and out of school. We've been learning about how different countries are affected by it and it's causing a lot of people in like Bangladesh to lose their homes and it's causing a lot of droughts which means that people are left starving in that. So it kind of gives us a responsibility to be like more environmentally friendly in that. We've done a number of environmental projects such as how acidity in the sea has eroded the land and how solar power cars work and the dangers of sea level rise. It has been good because it has combined technology and science. Every month we had a meeting to monitor energy use. We participated in Earth Hour where we switched off all the lights and made sure that nothing was on. Uh, we also made posters and signs to tell people to switch off lights and monitors and stuff like that. To help out, our school's finished our eco code and we've hung it up about the school. Having an eco code is really important because it helps the younger students just like, they ha it means they've got rules to follow. If they're not there, they won't do it. So it's important to have it hung around all about the school. From last year, our energy use has actually went down by 11%, which is great for like such an old building. Because climate change is happening at such a, a rapid rate, and also, I think with America, President Trump like pulling out of the Paris Agreement as one of the world's most powerful countries, it's a huge, huge thing. We all need to sort of fill in that gap and do more in terms of climate change. We need to reduce emissions, we need to basically fill in the gap that America created by pulling out the Paris Agreement.